Welcome to my French Porch Garden Part 2, June edition. My camera cut off accidentally. I've been having problems with it. This is my Lacinto Kale. It's doing very well. It's all leafy and green. And so far, so good. No pests. And my chamomile, I was pointing that out earlier. Here is my California Wonder Pepper and my two Shishito Peppers. Here is my poor Hungarian heart tomato. I just transplanted it yesterday and it looked like it's struggling so I need to get some more water in there. Here is a micro tomato. See how tiny it only gets to be about maybe 18 inches tall and it'll give me lots of little cherry tomatoes. Here's my fish peppers. Here are my fish peppers for the cause. Some more um, marigolds, lantana which is doing Fantastic. A four o'clock. My just transplanted butter nut butter bush squash plants. <sighs> My parsley's not looking so hot. Here's one, two, three, four golden gypsy dwarf tomatoes. Another micro tomato. Another cucumber that's also struggling. And we don't know what this is, but we we watered it, and we're going to see what happens. Here is my Paul Robeson tomato. It's doing really well. That one made the transition very nicely. I have thyme, chives, green beans. I have six plants in that bucket. Hopefully they'll make it. I have the Boston pickling cucumbers. Behind it is a Ford Hook Zucchini. Next to that is a Grande Jalapeno. I have strawberries on the window boxes. They're doing okay. The two bigger ones are starts I bought. The other ones are the Bare Roots Second Try for the ones before I got those. Let's get up one of those so you can see they're not just blank boxes. They're actually strawberries in there. Here and there. Okay. Sorry for all the turning. These are my Egyptian walking onions. I got sweet mint. Lemon balm, which is doing extremely well. This is a hosta that's going to go on the ground after I have my painting done. Rosemary. Thai basil. Blue spice basil. More Thai basil. Oregano. Parsley. And, oh, that's the cardinal basil doing really well. Well, all of this is on an area about five, no, eight foot by 12. I'm in the heart of the city. And all the Central Maryland Zone 7B. And that red thing there is my compost bin. Oh, and these little babies here are more starts that I started yesterday. We're going to get everybody watered today because I want my Hungarian heart to survive because that tomato is going to be my, once I do the oven dried tomatoes with, or the dried tomato, like sun dried tomatoes, that's what I want to make out of those. All of these have been done. All of this is happening on a porch that is about 12 feet long and 9 feet wide. 9 by 12 porch in the city. And you can do this. I may have already said that, but all you need is some determination and a little bit of space and you can grow your vegetables. You can grow some vegetables. I'm growing these vegetables to supplement what I already get. And I started this journey, actually, years ago, just, just planting herbs on my front porch. And then we had the pandemic, and I was accidentally gifted some sage. No, yep, chocolate, chocolate mint and some sage. They both died. But in their place came up squash and uh, tomatoes. And I was hooked. And the year after that, we had the uh, 
the pandemic. And for two years, I mean, we basically did nothing for the two years that we were under. So I studied and looked at different websites and looked around to see what I could do. My sister was already gardening and she kind of convinced me to get started. So this is what I'm doing on the space that I, I, I have. The front of my house gets a lot of sun and southern exposure. So, and gets tons of morning sun, which my herbs over here enjoy tremendously and are doing quite well. They've enjoyed the morning sun, so this is what they get. But, this is what we, ha what we have going on here, guys. You can do it too. This is your front porch gardener signing off. You have a very good day. It is gorgeous out here. It is like 82 degrees, no humidity, breezy. Oh my gosh, we can get out today. This is Monday, June 6th. If you can get out today, please do so. It is so pretty out. And just get out and enjoy the good day the good Lord has made. All right, guys. Make sure you throw something green in your face. Take care and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.